Hi guys and welcome back to Dan's Kitchen Garden Allotment. On today's episode we're going to be doing a little bit in the garden. Um, we're going to be some, doing some sewing in the greenhouse and we're also going to be talking about this horrible virus what's going around. So just before this video starts please go along and hit that subscribe button to join the family to help the channel grow. There's this horrible virus going around at the moment, but I'm not using the name because there is creators out there what are getting striked down because they're giving the false information off on this horrible virus. I'm not giving anyone information about it because I, don't, I know as much as what you guys know at this stage. But what this little rant is about is I was walking around my local town and I was shocked in 32 years I've been on this earth, I've never seen the shelf so empty in my life. And how people trying to make money of this virus, which is an absolute disgrace on everyone. So the first picture I put up is this little picture here of a shop. As you can see in the in the picture that it is showing um, a face mask. And I thought oh, I'll just pop in there to see how much they wanted for it. This bloke wanted three pounds for this face mask. And what it is, it's a nursing face mask. And when you use these masks, you have to dispose of them, literally within a couple of hours of using them. So what I did is I had a look on Wish and I see how much they were on Wish to buy. You could buy a pack of a hundred of these for 10 pounds. And she, and they were selling them for uh, three pounds each what I thought was absolutely disgusting and they shouldn't be doing it so I thought I'd name and shame them on the bloody video as well like the thief at the allotment but I've got a couple of them so I'm already quite safe these the ones you need to look for is the N95 masks these ones what will seal all around the face and it won't allow any germs or bacteria to get in through the nose or through the actual side face and then I popped into Savers to buy some hand sanitizer, and then I come up with this. I'll put a picture up now. It's absolutely mental. So the only one I went, ended up doing is this one here, and obviously I will be doing regular hand washes with my family as well, as we've all been advised on. And then we went to the local um, supermarket to do our weekly shop as we were walking around, and my wife said we need toilet rolls and i've seen on a lot of facebook that toilet rolls in america are rationed in australia they're having rations too a lot of the shops are sold out i thought nah that's never gonna happen here i walked there and this is some of the shops so we have iceland empty we have wilkinson's empty we have superdrug empty we had there were so many shops empty with them. The only way that we managed to get this one packet of toilet rolls, I'll put, I'll, as you've seen with the pictures, the only way we managed to get this one pack of toilet rolls, and that was um, one of the little old ears down there said, so, um, just ask them, they've got a couple in, in behind. So we were managed to get one pack of toilet rolls. But what surprises me is why is people stocking up on toilet rolls for? Why don't people stock up on rice, pasta, tin food? Food, so if it be does become a case where the place is actually shut down and you can't actually go into the local towns and stuff like that, you've got the food in your cupboard and you're well stocked. I don't know. So guys, that's my little rant over. So what we're gonna do now is go across to the greenhouse and I'll tell you what I'm doing in the greenhouse. So then guys, this is the second lot of sewing I will be doing this year. This is um, ready to go in for this year. Hopefully a lot of the frost has gone now, so it should be okay. So what we're going to be doing is the first one is celeriac. The second one is some hanging tomatoes. I'm gonna be sewing some pumpkins. I've got two lots of Brussels sprouts what I will be sewing for this year couple more different types of tomatoes my butternut squash two different types of cucumber cabbage celery and some more tomatoes so then I will be putting you on the time-lapse now of me planting these up but very shortly there will be videos up 
on how I grow these help from seed to harvest and a how-to video basically so what I'm going to do is get the time lapse started and I'll see you in a bit These are the seeds I've put into each colony on the tray. So these are all being planted up on the 13th of March. And all I have to do now is just grab some compost. give it a light sprinkling not too much and then a little firm dab down just a little squeeze of water And then these will go with a incubator lid on top, sitting in the greenhouse as well. So then guys, let's move on and do some more. So then I was just doing the time lapse and then I didn't realise that the GoPro had died. I need to get top it up with battery so unfortunately I lost a little bit of that footage. But what I will show you is what I've planted so far. At the end I have got my variety of tomatoes. Here I have got my chilies, what I planted about three weeks ago. Still haven't got no growth off of them yet. Here was my cucumber, my two varieties of cucumber. And then in this box I planted my butternut squash and my parsnips. In this one was my celeriac and celery. And in here is my Brussels sprouts. And this was the leeks that I sowed a few weeks back and as you can see they're just starting to grow so that's really good so this is the sort of time in the year that I normally start to grow stuff in my greenhouse as it's the frost are just starting to break up so all these seed packets what I've just sown now I will put these into the computer system and that will probably be in the next video of me showing you these in the computer system. So then guys, what I'm gonna do now is head out into the garden. So in my garden, I've been trying to cut the grass for the past three weeks, but everything is just still absolutely saturated and it's just gonna churn up with the mower. So I still can't do this. But what I would, this is a sure sign of spring. This is the pink for tomatoes and it is just started to flower up. So that means that it's on its way and the summer shouldn't be too long away. Got some chives down here. They've just started coming back up. Uh, nothing from the roses yet. 
and not much other things are growing in the garden but the spring is surely coming so then guys this is the end of this video unfortunately it's up but i hope that everyone is keeping safe in this horrible um weather we're having at the moment and also this horrible virus what is going around as well but it looks like spring and summer is just starting to come very soon so then guys if you like this video please hit the like button if you're watching this video and you're not a subscriber hit the subscribe button and make sure the bell notification is switched on if you have any questions comments or just general chit chat put in the comment section below until the next video i'll catch you later